kitchen for the first tastemaker challenge we're going to be um, actually doing National Seafood Month so I've got some salmon here from McCormick and Schmidt that was sent to me and we're going to be making um, what's called in English stuffed potato balls um, we call them rellenos de papa so I'm going to be making the potatoes but with salmon instead of the normal ground beef so I've got my salmon here and I've already seasoned it with some black pepper and with some adobo, which is basically um, an all seasoning that we use. Um, and I've got my pan here um, that I've already sprayed. So I'm just going to go ahead and sear the salmon a little bit. So we're going to let the salmon sear for um, quite a while to make sure it cooks. Um, not all the way through, but mostly because it's going to finish cooking when we do this, the potato. You know, standing here looking at this fish really reminds me of when I was a little girl and I used to go fishing with my grandfather. And you know what? I think I actually might have a picture of that. Good time. Okay, this fish is almost ready, so I'm going to go ahead and just throw some dill on top of it. Um, just for a little bit of extra flavor. So now that the fish um, is done, I went ahead and transferred it to a plate and I'm just kind of um, with a fork going through it to break it all up into very fine pieces here. And then what I've got in this bowl is already some soft and cream cheese and um, a few cut up chives. And I'm going to add the salmon to this and mix it all up to make a filling that will go inside of the potatoes. So I've got my filling of salmon, cream cheese, and chives already mixed up. And we're going to go ahead and assemble the ball. Um, so I've got some mashed potatoes here. And so I cut up potatoes, peeled them, boiled them, and just made your basic mashed potatoes with some butter and milk. But I also added an egg and some cornstarch so that the consistency um, is good to actually make the potatoes. Otherwise it would be too soft. So I've just got an ice cream scoop here, and with that we're going to scoop out some of the potato mixture, and I'm just leveling it off with some with a spoon here. I've got some cornstarch on my hands already, so that I can actually work with the potatoes. And then I'm just going to scoop this out a little bit gently onto my hand. Okay, not so gently but you get the idea. Um, so the cornstarch here on my hand form a ball. And then what I have here is some vegetable oil. And I'm just going to go ahead and dip my finger so that I can make a hole for the filling. And work that a little bit so you've got a decent sized hole for the filling. Now you don't want too much filling since the size of the potato is too um, a little bit small. But you want a decent amount of meat in there. And then you're just going to fold over the ball and continue to work it so that you get a nice form of a ball. Now in the meantime I've got my deep fryer here um, heating up to about 375 degrees. You could also pan fry these. I'm just going to go ahead and use the deep fryer. Um, it's just a little bit easier for me. So I'm going to go ahead and keep making um, the potato ball while my deep fryer uh, heats up. Ta-da!